everyone, it's me again, Theo Marquez, together with Rami, and welcome to Dear Mr. Jesus, the Jenny Time Catcher podcast special this Black Saturday. Mm, that's right. And for today's uh, topic, we are uh, share you a story about the name of Sarah Hopkins, which come from the movie since 2021 during the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay. I will and be... The, the, and the title of the movie called the, the Girl Who Believes in Miracles. But since Luna wasn't here, I think, how about you, Rami, can read it? Can you go to the podcast topic anyway hope you can read it so let's start with okay so i'll give you information about this it's about uh okay the girl who believes in miracles follows the heart were uh, heartwarming and through provoking journey of a young girl named sarah hopkins and let us um show you so sarah hopkins is a kind-hearted girl with un unwavering faith in God one day while at the lake with her brother Danny and his girlfriend she discovers a dead bird despite her family's skepticism Sarah believes she can pray to God to heal it to everyone's astonishment her prayer works and the bird comes back to life inspired by this inspired by the miracles event Sarah's best friend Mark who is a paraplegic asks her to pray with him miraculously he regains the ability to walk again as more miracles are attributed to sarah she becomes uh, she becomes a natural a national celebrity Mm. she feels blind at sick children and her fame grows exponentially however the overwhelming crush of a nonetary and press attention takes its stroll on Sarah. Her family becomes concerned when she falls ill after she praying many times. They discovered that she is she is suffering from inerable brain tumor. The doctor recommends taking Sarah to the hospital for comfort, but Sarah has other plans. She wants to return to the lake where she first saw God. Her grandfather devised a plan with the townsfolk to break her out of the hospital. Against her parents' wishes, they rush to the lake. There, God appears, and Sarah's spirit stands before him. They both disappear while everyone mourns her death. However, Danny discovers the painting of Sarah, leaving God to reunite with her family. This revelation means she's still alive. Dan- oh, Danny prays for her return, and she awakens. In a humble twist, Sarah v- reveals that it was God who re- healed those people, not her. Okay. So, okay. here's our Bible verse where you can see it on my. You can see on uh, after the story. You can read the Bible verse, Remy. Okay. The first verse is according to Acts chapter 3, verse 16. It says, By faith in the name of Jesus, this man whom you, whom you and know was made strong. It is Jesus' name and the faith that comes through him that has completely healed him, as you can all see. The next is according to Deuteronomy, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 21. It says, He is the one you praise. He is your God who performed for you those great and awesome wonders, wonders you saw with your own eyes. Exodus chapter 15, verse 26, it says, He said, If you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in, your, in His eyes, if you pay attention to His commands, and keep all his decrees. I will not bring on you of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. And the next one is 
Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 27. I am the Lord, the God of all mankind. Is anything too hard for me? Next is John chapter 2 verse 11. When Jesus did hear in the can of Galilee was the first of the signs through which be he revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. Luke chapter 18 verse 27 Jesus replied what is impossible with man is possible with God and next on Mark chapter 9 verse 23 if you can said Jesus everything is possible for one who believes and next one is Matthew chapter 17 to 20 it says he replied because you have so little faith truly I tell you if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Next one is Matthew chapter 19 to 26. Jesus looked at them and said, with, th with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Matthew chapter 21, Matthew chapter 21 to 21, Jesus replied, Truly I tell you, if you have faith and do not doubt, not only you, can you do what was done to the fig tree, but also you can say to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea and it will be done. Next one is Romans chapter 15 to 18 to 19. It will not venture to speak of anything except what Christ has accomplished through me in leading in the Gentiles to obey God by what I have said and done by the power of signs and wonders through the power of the Spirit of God Acts chapter and the last one is Acts chapter 19 verse 11 to 12 God did did extraordinary miracles through Paul so that even handi hand handkerchiefs and our aprons that had touched him were taken to the sick and their illness illness were occurred and the spirit uh, and the evil spirits left them that's our verse of this this day. is why we thanks to our lord our god for these words once again remember guys we are here for you and just continue to pray for for those who are sick and for oh, those yeah. who are suffering we are uh, here for you that, we here's our devotion so it's time for having a personal devotion you know, okay please. uh you know the devotion of this uh, verse i mean the story of sarah hopkins uh i know she's the young girl who possesses the extra uh, extraordinary gift Extraordinary, mm -hmm. uh, extraordinary gift. She believes in miracles. It was come from, from uh, her unwavering faith in God set her apart from our, from others. When she hears the preacher's words about faith moving mountains, she takes them to the heart. Wow. Maganda yung yung kwento ni Sarah Hopkins. Kaya po dito, uh, dapat tularan ang magandang uh, healing, magandang balita ng ating Panginoong Jesus. And, mm -hmm. and if you wanna know about Remy's said about the healing of the bird, at the, at the Syrian lake site, Sarah discovers a lifeless bird Against all odds, she prays for its healing and the bird miraculously comes back to life. This event becomes the catalyst for a series of remarkable occurrences. Maganda yung kwento ni Sarah Hopkins. Magaling yung, ba yung bata. Mm -hmm. So it's like uh, For those who don't know This movie was released in April 20, 2021 In the United States Remember that 
I agree. Maganda yung kwento. And the third devotion uh, is about the Mark's Miracle. Uh, Sarah's best friend and a para- paraplegic seeks her help. He, ha- he asks her to pray with him, hoping for a miracle to everyone's astonishment. Mark regains the ability to walk. Sarah's fate becomes a beacon of hope for those around her. Wow. Mm-hmm. Nice. The fourth one is the rising fame and struggle. As Sarah's miraculous deeds multiply, she becomes a, nas- a national sensation. The media hails her as the miracle girl. However, the overwhelming attention takes a toll on her. The weight of fame and expectations threaten her well-being. I think there's something hindi maganda about sa kanya. Hindi hindi to maganda. Mm-hmm. Oh no. And the next one, it sounds like worse. Pakay Sarah Hopkins. She she was diagnosed a the inoperable brain tumor. Sarah falls seriously ill. The diagnosis reveals an in, inoperable brain tumor. Her family grapples with fear and uncertainty. They must navigate the thin line between fate and reality. Why? Oh my goodness. As the family returned to the lake when Sarah saw the god, Sarah decided to return to the lake where she first encountered God becomes her mission. Against medical advice, her family helps her escape the hospital. There, she hopes for divine intervention. When the the good thing is, I think Sarah passed away during God's appearance. At the lakeside, God appears to Sarah. Their interaction transcends the physical realm. Sarah's spirit stands before him, and they shared a profound moment. In a twist, both vanish, leaving everyone in mourning. Hmm, I see. That's right. I don't know. But I think man po tayong uh, my painting si Sarah or bago siya na bago siya na uh, pumanaw the painting and, and Danny's prayer Danny or no, known as Sarah's brother discovers a painting depicting her leaving God's presence Ooh, that's right I think I think Sarah's, uh, I mean, Sarah Hopkins returned to her family by, by praying. This revelation ignites hope. Danny prays, uh, prevently for Sarah's return. The ultimate revelation. Sarah's awake, Sarah is awakened. Very miracle. She reveals that it was God who worked through her, healing others. Her po- her purpose was not personal glory, but to be a vessel for divine love. The themes and impact. One, faith. Sarah's unye- uh, unyielding faith inspires those around her. Number two. Miracles. The film explores the inexplicable and transformative power of every miracles. 
Nice. Of the Lord our God. Number three, fame. The cause of fame and its impact on an individual's well being. Epekto yan sa fame. And the last one, family bonds. Sarah's family's love and sacrifice drive the story. Maganda yung kwento ni Sarah. Kaya po dito, this, this will be a very great idea para sa lahat. Even sa lahat ng mga Pilipino who survived the pandemic. Yes, conclusion, that's right. The girl who believes in miracles reminds us that sometimes the greatest miracle happened within our hearts. It's a testament to the resilience of fate and the beauty of selflessness. Mm-hmm. Kaya mga star squad, we need to have a great miracles by our Lord, our God. Amen. This is why. But, so when before we end, we will have a prayer before we come uh, end. I think we'll do a prayer for this. Okay, let's. I think that will be good. I hope you guys understand what we have just discussed about. And for those who want to watch it again, you can watch it again on this on J Time Catchers. Um. On the J Time Catcher, so yeah, yeah, the J Time Catcher podcast. Okay. So, salamat po ng Star Squad team. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Uh, uh, Amen. Sin- simul- sinimulan pa natin ang kwento ito para sa inyo. Amen. 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 So, let us pray to the Lord our God. And right, let, let's have let's, a uh, very great miracles for us. Let's right. pray. The, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly God, thank you so much. You are a very gracious Father. Thank you very much. And we have miracles on you. And give us wisdom. Give us compassion to the Lord, our God. Lord, you are the faithful. You are so miracles. You have miracles, in Lord. Sweet things. Lord, as we in your words, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, please, we, please heal us with your wisdom and compassion. With not just on our minds, you are protecting, and you are a grateful man. Lord, as we end this kind of topic, we, we lift them up to you, and for those who are everyone who is watching with us, please heal them. Give us compassion, and give us the grace with your child times. We ask all this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. bow down for the blessing may god as an constant guide we lift them up to you and all of your spirit to help us in grace amen may god as a truth Yes. Okay. So, I think that concludes our stream today and the day. Uh, I mean, our podcast, our record, and the day of Black Saturday. So, Marcus uh, Star Squad, thank you so much. No, uh, I I know I'm muting. Sorry, pala. And once again, uh, <clears throat> lahat po ito uh, sinabi ni Remy sa kanya uh, sa kanyang live stream. 
natapos yung kanya ang live stream or something. And panoorin o paulit ulit guys. So once again from the JD Time Catcher, the Millennium of Reaching the Stars. This is the the JD Time Catcher podcast special as we presenting you, dear Mr. Jesus. He Thank you will, very much. Uh, heals you because he's the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. God bless everyone. God bless. Bye.